Um, what I believe is that um, uh, if you see uh, this, uh, if you see when you also hear, you don't see the same thing. That sounds a bit weird, but uh, the way uh, uh, the, the the sound that comes to you it really influences when you uh, what you see, and also the other way around. So, um, as an example, uh, there's. Um, a study I think is really interesting is done by uh, Millicent Cooley. I think he's from the US and he, uh, he studies interactions between audio and visuals. Uh, let's see if I can find his website here. What he did is he uh, gave some examples um, to show how sound influences the way you look at things. Let's see. Oh uh, yeah, I know it's me. Yeah, it, it, it's usually the other way around because um, it, has, it has also to do with, of course, that the DJ is the main act still in clubs. Uh, but also, um, if you close your eyes, you just don't see the effect of the visuals anymore. But music is always there. If you close your eyes, you can feel it. And if you turn your head around, it's always there. So. Of course, in a club setting, the, the music always has the, the biggest impact. Yeah. So, um, but, no, I don't mean the people, but DJs see the visuals and mm -hmm. then... And then he... Uh, then, yeah, DJs watch, do you think the DJ and DJ watch? Uh, yeah, well, it, it really depends on the DJ. A lot of DJs, um, you come across it, they just do their thing and it's, yeah, it's nice that there's visuals, but they don't really interact with the visuals. But there has been some occasions where I've been in a club and that we have really had a really had an interaction that when um, he he played a record and I did visuals on that of some sort of theme, he adjusted his set to my theme, so he made it more um, uh, harmonic or more uh, with yeah, with just the theme. If if I had birds, then he all of a sudden did something with birds in his music or whatever. But that doesn't happen a lot, but it's, I think that happens a lot in audiovisual acts. And that's something I really want to focus on more, that you really have that interaction. Because now it's, the DJ is still leading most of the time in the club. And not the other way around. But it would be nice. It would be really cool. But this is an example I wanted to show you. Here's just uh, two blocks um, that hit each other. And if you look at this, yeah, there's just not, not happening much, but if you add different sounds, it, it has a different feel all of a sudden. So this is entirely different of this. It has... A, it makes you believe that the thing is... the two blocks, that nothing is changed, but because there's a different sound underneath it, it has a totally different effect, and it's also with VJing, um, that the sound, the, the certain type of music really has an impact on your visuals and vice versa. So that's uh, one example. Another nice one is this. this uh, this is just an animation of a little triangle just walking through the screen, it's nothing fancy, but if you add sounds underneath, it's all very different. See, it's just... It makes it a whole different thing, a whole different visuals. Sorry, I have a question. Which yeah. slide was this? This is, oh yeah, it's, um, I think you can see it like this, it's called www.millicent.us uh, Yeah, it's a really interesting guy. He writes uh, a lot of nice things about uh, 
audiovisuals and theories. And another example uh, I want to show you of being it the other way around. Um, it's just one sound and different visuals. Examples, but it's really, yeah, that to show what I mean with uh, images and sound having a tremendous impact on our, the way we perceive things. And that's something that's really nice to, to um, yeah, to, to, to do things with with VJ to take in notice, to, uh, yeah, to do something with. So that's, yeah, basically what I do <laughs> in my visuals. I try to explore the the boundaries of audiovisuals and the interaction. So yeah. Are there any questions? Okay. <laughs> That's it. <laughs>